Welcome over here to the Google Lab channel. My name is Robert Turco or Lungers TV, as you guys do know me, or most of you guys do know me. Today we're going to talk about zingers. As you guys do know, Guten Squad has their own spin array, which is called a zinger. We have a normal size zinger and a mini zinger. They both have their place. Mini zinger, love to use them more up north. Smaller fish, small mouth that is, smaller bait. Down south, bigger zinger. You know what I mean, jelly beans? Both are great. If you guys do not have one of these inside of your tackle box, you guys need one of these right now. The two colors that I always have to have though is going to be a white and a chartreuse in white. It does not have to be a small or a big one, but I both will have. You know what? Take that back. I will have both of them in small and big. Chartreuse and white are very, very important. I actually might have three or four in each color just in case I make a bad cast, smack the trolling motor or whatnot, and bust off one of these uh, little blades. You know what I mean? But this is what you need inside of your life this time of the year going into the fall. I also like to pair them up with a 3.3 inch saucy swimmer. That is right, a Guggen Bates saucy swimmer. 3.3 inch is very, very crucial. Sometimes I'll even trim the tail. If I don't want the thing to wobble too much, I will take a pair of scissors and I will physically trim the tail. You know what? Can I get a pair of scissors? Okay, so I actually brought over a 3.3, excuse me, 3.8 inch, and this is a 3.3, same color. If you guys do not know the color, I will show you guys the back of this right now. Well, they can't see it, can they? This is white pearl shad. Uh, this is definitely the color that I would match up with both of these. Might even take a little bit of dye if I'm gonna be using this one right here, the chartreuse and white. I might actually dip the tail in chartreuse and whatnot, depending on the water clarity. Chartreuse and white is pretty much my go-to all the time of the year. But a lot of times I'll actually take this bait if I really want to kill the action of this tail, or I think it might be impeding with the spinner bait, and I will literally cut, cut it all the way down and cut it all the way off, just like this. So now this boot tail literally won't do anything but just kick back and forth so subtly. It will still kick back and forth, not as much clearly if it had the boot. Uh, that's if you're wanting to throw a trailer, wanted to knock it down. Use this 3.8 inch on the bigger zinger and the 3.3 on the mini zinger. Now you're going to want to pair it up with some, depending on where you're at, 15 pound is pretty much the deal. I use 15 pound floor column pretty much everywhere I go. I might bump it up to 17 if there's a lot of rock, or excuse me, backtrack, a lot of grass. A lot of grass. I will bump it up to 17. Also, water clarity also is very dependent. But 15 is pretty much the ticket. It'll allow that bait to get down quicker and uh, it's, it's strong enough. It's fine. Now I'm going to pair it up with a Reaction Series rod from Goon Squad. You guys can either grab a gold or a green series. It does not matter to me. One is just a little more expensive with higher end components on it. It just depends on your budget. If you guys want to grab anything you guys see inside of this video, you guys can go to GoonSquad.com. Use code LUNKERS at checkout to save 10% off everything you guys have seen me talk about. Here, you need zingers inside of your life. Grab a couple. Don't just grab one. Grab both of these. If I was you, I'd grab two of this size, two of this size, and two of each color and you're pretty much set. You're going to need them in your life. Remember, go to GoodSquad.com. Code will be very top of the bio. I do love you guys. Thanks for hanging out with me over here on the Guggen Labs. Hope you guys take something from this, and I'll see you guys on another episode.